what's up guys Marco here welcome back to another lesson sorry guys you know I haven't been around lately but we have been insanely and beautifully busy around here guys and to be honest with you I haven't been sleeping that much during the past few days but I am super happy and I promise that I will share more about it about me becoming a dad and it happened and I'm super happy and so for this reason today I want to show you a nice lovely and romantic and relaxed and simple chord progression now we're going to keep it really really simple guys uh, we're in the key of a C major we're gonna be playing mainly around two chords a C major chord and an F major chord so it's the usual one four that we can loop um, you know over and over and then we can obviously you know spice things up with different chords and of course with the finger picking technique now first things first let's talk about the finger picking pattern we're playing a pattern in six in fact we're going to be playing six notes and the finger style pattern is this one one two three four five six one two three four five six one now i really recommend that you start with the finger picking pattern and uh, you can use this finger picking pattern over simple chords so if you want to keep the same chord progression just use the C major chord which is 3, 2, open and 1 and the F major chord you don't have to play the bar chord I mean you can if you want but let's keep it simple and just play an F major 7 chord which is this one F so it's 3, 2, 1 and open now the finger picking pattern is in six we can break it down into two groups of three notes so you're gonna have for the C major the thumb the index on the D string middle and ring on the B string and then we go back to the uh, G string and back to the D string so we have thumb index middle ring middle index one two three four five six we can do it twice and then we change chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Of course, when we change chord, we're gonna change the set of strings as well. Um, we're gonna play the bass note of the F major with the thumb on the D string. And so we're gonna lower the index, which is now on the G string. The finger picking pattern is the same. So we have the D, G, B. E, B, and G. Now one thing that I want you to notice guys is that I like to emphasize the first note of each group. So if I break down these six notes into two groups of three notes, I would emphasize the first one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you can see, I like to play the note with the thumb and the note of, with the ring finger a little louder than the other notes. And it's a nice effect. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, one. course guys we can make this chord progression even more exciting to play right let me show you how we can add more colors to the chords and we're going to be playing major seventh chords and also add nine chords for the C major we're going to transform it into a C major seventh chord without the third so we're going to play it like this so we have the root note C on the fret three the G string open which is the fifth the B string open which is the major seventh and the G again on the top E string fret number three right which is the fifth the finger picking pattern is the same the index is on the G string so we're gonna have the A G B E B and G remember always to emphasize the note that you plug with the thumb and with the ring finger the second chord is going to be an F add nine chord which is a chord played with four notes. We have the root note F, the major third A, the perfect fifth C, and the major nine, which 
which is the note G, is on the E string fret number three. It's the same finger picking pattern, just the, the thumb is now on the D string. Back to the C major seven. But this time we're gonna play D major third, so we only play the root note C and then the G, B and E string open. The pattern is always twice and the last chord, the F major seven chord. We're gonna play it one time, then we play the bass and a very simple line on the B string for number one, three and the E string open, just three notes. So I'm gonna put the whole thing together. So with this very first step, guys, we really understand how easy it can be to spice up a chord progression. We're using a simple finger picking pattern and beautiful sounding chords, right? Now we could also add a melody, which is something that we love and it's awesome with the finger style technique. So let's just add a simple melody. It sounds like this. So the goal here is to fill up the space between these chords. We're gonna play the chord one time. And then three more notes with the thumb, index and middle. But rather than complete the finger picking pattern, we're actually gonna play three notes. The note the G on the front number three, the F on the front number one, and the E string open. Now, the plucking pattern here is really interesting because we are playing with the thumb, index, middle, and then the melody is played with alternate fingering. So we have index, middle, and index. So we have to combine these two patterns. Now the second chord will basically do the same thing. exact same melody. As you can see guys, I like to hold the bass note down as I'm playing the melody so that we have this nice chord ringing out beautifully. Now we'll go back to the third chord which is the C major 7 with the third. So we play the chord, half of the chord, and the melody is played on the uh, E string open, the um, D on the front number 3, and the C on the front number one, and we finish with the F major seven chord. We play the full arpeggio, then the bass note, and then the melody, played with the note C on the front number one, three, and the E string open. So we have a simple finger picking pattern, a beautiful and lovely chord progression, a nice melody. Now let's just make you know, this chord progression even better by adding an additional structure, which is going to open up with the D minor seven chord. It sounds like this. open up with this D minor 7 chord, which is just like a D minor chord, but we need the B string on the front number 1, so we have a bar chord on the front number 1, just two strings, and then the G string front number 2. The finger picking pattern is the same, we have the uh, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle and index, and then just half of this pattern. So it's thumb, index, middle, and then the, the melody played on the E string, fret number one, three, five, and the second chord, the E minor chord.
which is very simple, right? We just have the E string fret number three and then we plug open strings. So it's thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, then just half arpeggio, thumb, index, middle, and the melody on the fret number three, five, seven, and the A minor chord, which is played with the bar chord on the fret number five. It's just three strings with the same finger picking pattern. Half arpeggio, and then we have the E string for number five, seven, eight. And we finish with the E minor chord with the E string for number seven. A full pattern and then all open strings. Now we go back to the D minor and we end up this chord progression with this beautiful, beautiful transition. So we play the D minor chord, D minor 7, E minor, and then the A minor, just three strings. The A string, the G string for number 9, and the E string for number 8, bass, the G major, just two notes, fret 5 and fret 7, bass, and the F major 7 chord. We strum it with the thumb lightly and we let it ring out. Then one more note on the B string for number one. And we finish with the C in major seventh chord. So I hope you enjoy this lovely and simple and beautiful and romantic chord progression with the simple finger picking pattern, guys. Me, I'm gonna leave you to practice these chords. Enjoy this lesson and I'll talk to you soon.